Hi there, and welcome to my weekly robot update. This is where I do a roundup of what's going on in the robot news around the world, so stay tuned. Hi guys, I'm Philip Ignis from RoboPhil.com, and welcome to my robot weekly update number 27. Today we're looking at shelf stock taking, household serving, and self-walking robots. First off, Cheeky Phil Robo Plug. If you're looking to find out where to get your hands on any of the robots in the weekly robot update, then please visit my Robo Phil online store. Here we are to find these robots as well as other robot technology for your delight. Meet Tally, the stock-taking shop robot that keeps shelves fully stacked and even spots when food is nearing its sell-by date. When customers can't find a product on a shelf, it's inconvenient. But some estimates it adds up to billions of dollars of lost revenue each year for retailers around the world. A new shelf scanning robot called Tally could help ensure that customers never leave a store empty handed. It roams the aisles and automatically records which shelves need to be restocked. The robot developed by a startup called Symbi Robotics is the latest effort to automate some of the more routine work done in millions of warehouses and retail stores. It's also an example of the way robots and AI will increasingly take over parts of people's jobs rather than replacing them. Restocking shelves is simple but hugely important for retailers. Billions of dollars may be lost each year because products are missing, misplaced or poorly arranged according to a report from the analyst firm IHL Services. In large store, it can take hundreds of hours to inspect shelves manually each week. Brad Bogo Lee, CEO and co-founder of Simi Robotics, said his company's robot can scan the shelves of a small store, like a modest CVS or Walgreens, in about an hour. A very large retailer might need several robots to patrol its premises. He says the robot will be offered on subscription basis, but did not provide the pricing. Bogley adds that one large retailer is already testing the machine. Alpha 2, a humanoid robot with social skills, is now on Indiegogo. Umatech Robotics, a company headquartered in Shenzhen, China, is launching a crowdfunding campaign for Alpha 2, a small humanoid robot designed for practical household services and companionship. Alpha 2 has a similar design to many other hobby class humanoids, but two things stand out. Its potential for social interaction and its extremely low cost. According to press release, Alpha 2 will be capable of managing weekly calendars and providing verbal reminders for scheduled tasks, free talking and following verbal instructions, taking high quality photographs and posting to social media, performing home security, monitoring and alerts, entertaining children, guests and even pets, and reporting the weather, searching the web, downloading applications. The domestic robot was designed to offer an intuitive and responsive platform that is designed to be both intelligent and useful. Because of that, the Alpha 2 is completely programmable and operates on an open source operating system. As far as the hardware goes, the device includes a number of sensor inputs such as ultrasonic sensors, touch sensors and pressure sensors. With a total of 20 servos in the device joints, the robot is pretty nimble. There's currently a super early bird special price of $499, with a standard price being $599. Scientists have built an AI robot that's figured out life just like humans do. There's so many precious moments in a newborn's life that parents love to capture on film. The first time the child sits on her own, the first time she stands, or her first cautious steps. Igor Mordach, a robotics postdoctorate student at the University of California, Berkeley, has been doing similar for a human on robot called Darwin, which he had programmed to learn just like a human child might. Mordach and his team at Berkeley's Robotics Lab started out by working for two years on a computer system that simulates how a robot might act in certain situations. The system is a group of neural networks, computer algorithms modelled after the structure of the human brain. In the last few months, the team has been transferring the system over into Darwin itself. 
They're the simulations act like a game plan that Darwin can use to figure out how to perform tasks on its own. Much like a child sees other people walking and figuring out gradually with lots of mistakes that she can do it too. The goal is to create a machine learning system that could theoretically allow Darwin to wander around on its own. That's it guys for your weekly World Robot News. I'm your host, Philip English. Don't forget guys, cheeky for Robo Plug. Please visit my online Robo store if you want to find out where to get your hands on any of the robots in the weekly update and to find out lots of other robots that you can add to your collection. Now if you like this robot video and want to see even more of the latest robot news, reviews and robot tutorials, then please hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the latest videos that come out. Please have a look below as well where I've put links for lating to these videos as well as other information and web links for your review. If you have any questions or want to see any other robot tutorials or review videos, then please write a message in the comment section and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys, looking forward to see you next time.